Yeah. Back at it. Alright guys, Coach, you spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks uh, taking a look at what you had at returner. Do you anticipate doing the same thing for the preseason finale? Yeah, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, the good thing is that we have a lot of guys to choose from, you know, <laughs> and we can really get a good look at guys and uh, we've been getting a lot of returns, so it's it's been good for us. Demarcus Robinson as a punt returner, what are your, what are your thoughts on him? Uh, he drives me nuts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he really does, to be honest. He knows it. Um, you know, I like to see him catch it and keep the ball tight to his body. And, you know, he doesn't do that. Uh, I like to see him get north and south. He doesn't do that. You know, I mean, so those are things that we talk about all the time. You know, he's uh, a great make you miss guy. I mean, there's probably nobody better, but uh, he's, he's got to learn to get up the field. He's a good catcher. You know, so in an emergency situation, you could use him, you know, as a guy that can get you through a game. Uh, but... As an every down guy, uh, he's got a, he's got a ways to go. Same ballpark is kind of the, the same question at least with Mike Hughes. Yeah, I mean, Mike is Mike is a very very good catcher. Uh, uh, he's very he's talented returner. Uh, he gets up the field north and south. He looks for that north and south right away. Uh, whereas he could probably press the edges a little bit more. You know, he's a he's um, he's talented, and we like what we see in him going forward. Two preseason games. Is there anybody that's sort of increased their value in the four phases? Uh, I think Jody Fortson has. Jody Jody's setting himself up well. Um, uh, not not really. Not, not no surprises, you know. But but I was just happy to see Jody. You know, with, with the, as hard as he worked in the off season to be able to show it on the field. Uh, you know, as a hold-up guy, and you know, and blocker and cover guy, you know, a physical. Um, it's good to see. Is that side coach, uh, players that are trying to make the team, obviously special teams is, is probably going to be the way to go. Is there anyone that you could possibly tell us that's on the borderline that needs to have a good showing on Friday? Uh, I, I think everybody needs to have a good showing. There, there's guys that um, there's guys that you might think are, are easy ins right now. They're still fighting. I mean, it's it's not over. You know, and that's the thing that I tell them. I say that, you know, the decision's not made until this last game is done. You know, we get down to 53. So, you know, they got to keep fighting, everybody. Um, there's, there's a lot of positions that are still open right now. And, you know, special teams will have something to do with it, but offense and defense mostly. Are there individuals like, um, that you give advice to, like, hey, this is what I want to look Oh, for. they know. They know. I mean, it's clear. I'm, I'm a clear. I'm a, I'm, you know, I tell you like it is guy. And they know, they know exactly how they stand. They know what they need to do. They know if they need to have a big game or not. There's no gray area with me, you know, and I think that's it's good for the guys to know. What have you seen from uh, Jerry McKinnon, and what does it say about the willingness to do it even as what is a seven Yeah, he's – yeah, he's – um I'm not sure how much special teams he's had in his past, but he's been playing great for us. I mean, if you know – like every week he does – the last two games, uh, you know, the first game he had the nice hit, you know, as a PP, and then uh, in the second game he had the nice block on, on the punt return, you know, out in front. Of the returner, boom, he got a knockdown on a big guy. He's not afraid to stick his head in there. He's not afraid to do the dirty work, um, you know, which is good to see with a veteran guy. You know, you, know, you never know how he's going to react, and he's, he's really uh, taken the role, uh, you know, and accepted it, and he's doing everything he can. So you know, borderline guys, when you talk about Marcus Kemp, the Reese Fowler, players like that, yeah. What do you kind of tell them to make sure? Because I know you like Marcus Kemp with special teams. What do you try to tell them that, you know, they're doing well offensively too, but special teams is all Yeah, I mean, Marcus Kemp, you don't need to say much too because he's a highly motivated, self-motivated guy. He, he goes hard all the time. Uh, a, a guy like Fountain, he's got to try to impress on everything he does. Uh, he's got to, he's got to uh, you know, obviously show up on special teams a little bit more. I mean, that'll, that'll help him. But he's, he's done such a good job on offense. I'm not saying he, it's, a, it's a shoot. Like, he's one of those guys that are, that, that's battling. He, he's, a, he's a bubble guy, you know, and, and that's, you know, those guys are they're fighting for, for a spot. And there's a lot of competition on this team. You know, when you see us cutting great players like we are, have, I mean, you, that just tells you, you know, that, that we have a lot of competition. How is Calvin been doing with the holding duties? Go. Holding's fine. He's, he's, he's fine with that. Um, you know, he's, he set the bar high for himself in that first game, and we know what he can do. Uh, so if he next, you know, the, the next game, if he doesn't hit 5-0 hang times, it's like he had a bad game. But he, he you know, he, he, the punts that he hit, we only had two in that last game. He hit two fair catches, you know, which is, you know, was only like a 38 or 39-yard net, which is what you're looking for. But, 
you know, he's got the ability to be even better, and, and we know that now. So uh, we expect that out of him. Dave, when you mentioned Jerry Fortson on, on special teams, was that something in the offseason or at least early on in camp that he came to you and said, I, I really want to, want to be a better It was actually last year. He actually came into my office. He did, and, and you could ask him about it. He came in my office. It was uh, during the offseason. What do I need to do? You know, and I just, I just, we just laid it out on for him, and and he's, you know, and I, that's why I'm so excited about him because he's done it. You know, he's got himself in the position, you know, to to be successful. Is that unusual that a guy would come to you? No, no, not unusual at all. Uh, guys come to me if they don't think they're not getting enough reps. They want to know why. You know, you know, it's, uh, you know, and I, and I shoot them straight. They they understand. You know, and, and it helps. I mean, communication is the key. You know, you can't. You know, they don't want to be, you know, I don't think players should be surprised, you know, when they get cut or released or, you know, I mean, we're, or make the team for that matter. One of the things with him, though, is obviously this offseason, he was going into sort of a little bit of a body transformation, switching positions as well. So at, in your spot, do you immediately know where you're going to put him or do you kind of wait to see how that plays? Uh, yeah, he kind of, we, we, we tried him at different spots. Uh, like now he can play on the, like, for example, he used to be a slot, like on punt, which is a kind of an intermediate, uh, you know, type builds, the safety type. He's gotten so big now. He, I could play him at guard and tackle on punt team, you know, and, and he he can hold up in there against bigger guys. So, and that's a perfect example of how it changed for him. Along those same lines, coach, is, um, he had told me previously during camp he had worked out with Delaney Walker to improve his blocking. How how much of that are you seeing when you mentioned he can play interior and block? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you probably have to ask, you know, uh, you know, the tight ends coach Melvin Moore uh, about that. But I, I watch him like every day on nine and seven. I can see he's bringing the physicalness and he's running through guys instead of just running two guys. He's starting to run through guys on traps and stuff. So it's that's all confidence, you know. And he's building. You can see his confidence getting built every day. Okay, thanks, coach. All right, we'll see you. See you later.